has the feeling of being assured. And in being assured, takes place when I have the clarity that the other wants to make me happy and successful. Now we are trying to examine whether this is true or not true. So we wrote down this four statement about the natural acceptance of every human being. Then we wrote down this four you know, statements about the competence of each one of us. So first I ask this question of you know, natural acceptance. I want to make myself happy and I want to make the other happy. Is it my natural acceptance? If that is the case, then we are saying, we can ask about the other, whether the other wants to make himself happy or not, the other wants to make me happy or not. And if you do this analysis, it turns out that this 3A and 4A is the reflection of 1A and 2A. So if 1A is true, 2A is true, then 3A and 4A is also true. Looking at it from the other side. If I have this clarity, this understanding in me, I will have trust on intention of everybody. Because we didn't have this clarity, we were having doubt on intention of everybody. That is why I have given you this homework. Right? That you find out how many people you have trust on intention and commitment. And if you have trust on intention and condition, continuous, then if the other person is lacking competence, you will think of improving his competence rather than getting irritated, getting angry or having a feeling of opposition. So most of you found out right, that if this is the qualifying condition, that if you have trust on intention continuously, then you never get irritated. You never get angry on or you have a feeling of opposition. Then you have, it will be difficult to find out one person. But on the other hand, if I have this understanding right, of 1A and 2A, and if I can see that 3A and 4A is the reflection of this 1A and 2A, then I will have trust on intention of everybody. You can see that shift from having trust on intention Right? Continuously on nobody. You can shift to the trust on intention, unconditional on everybody. But then it will not mean that you take everybody for granted. It means when I am to make a program with him, right? I will evaluate my competence, I will evaluate his competence. And on the basis of this I will make a program with him. And I exemplified it with you know, our conduction of the workshop. Every time I am evaluating my competence, I am evaluating your competence. And on the basis of that, I am trying to work out this program. And that is why it is important. So this is about the trust on okay? trust on intention and the competence. Okay? And I said this is the foundation value because if there is any crack on this, in this trust on intention, then we are in touch. Then the whole relationship is shaky. Okay? And this crack may end up in any explosion. Okay? And that is what is happening. The very trust on intention is violated. That example I was taking yesterday. That we start with the commitment to live together for lifetime. And then we are a group. We start in divorce. What does it mean? Is it a problem of something? or it is a problem of doubt on the intention itself. So I do not have the capacity to understand relationships and ensure the fulfillment in the The other person also does not have the you know, uh, understanding of relationships and competence to ensure fulfillment in relationships. And that is how it has been in this condition. And, 
and it all starts with this doubt on intention. If there is doubt on an intention, then this lack of competence starts dissipating the whole thing. Right? And after some time, you feel that it just is already done. So you start feeling irritated before the other person says something. <laughs> And we end up in the asylum, right? And remember that. Otherwise, you see, issues are not very serious. If you really look at, you know, the small fight which we keep taking place in this family, issues are not very important. You know, important. Very simple issues. He says something, you know, the words are not appropriate. Can you feel that? And you think this is too much. I can't solve this question. Otherwise, it's not killing you physically. He says some words. Or the husband says some words. And the wife says, you know, I can't solve it. He says that. And it's very simple simple issue. If there was no doubt on intention, they could be very simply resolved. Right? But if there is doubt on intention, then, you know, any small thing. They are coming late in the class. Late in the, uh, you know, from the office. Then it can be a big thing for us. And revise and think to think must be doing something wrong. And you have to keep on thinking what explanation to give. <laughs> all kinds of things. You know, if you start looking at all this, you know, you will realize that moment there is a doubt on intention. You know, your life becomes help. In the next so that is what I will give you with and you want this issue of respect. Unless there is some question on this. You talk about the second feeling of the feeling of respect. Respect, feeling of respect, what it means is the right evaluation. What you tend to do generally in place of right evaluation is either over evaluation or under evaluation or otherwise evaluation. And all that amounts to this system. Over evaluation or under evaluation or other evaluation. 
Then you tend to over You say, he is dead. He can do anything. This is right evaluation, over evaluation. <laughs> over evaluation. But if you are little unhappy with him, you say he is useless. He cannot do anything. This is under evaluation, right? You must be able to do something at least. But you say, no, no, he can't do anything. And if you are very unhappy with him, you say he is a donkey. <laughs> you are not even accepting him as human being. <laughs> this is otherwise evaluation. <laughs> if I say, if I say you will not understand anything, it is under evaluation. I was saying that if you get, if you are little happy with the child, you tend to over evaluate. You say that this child is great, he can do anything. This is over evaluation. If you are little unhappy, right, you will say he is useless. He cannot do anything. If you are very unhappy with him, you say he is a donkey. That means, when you are saying useless, you are at least accepting him to be a human being, right? No useless. <laughs> when you are saying donkey, you are not even accepting him to be a human being. <laughs> this is otherwise evaluation. And you can see, in your day-to-day -day transaction, right? this is what you tend to do. I will cite a few examples. I was going with one of my friends in a motorcycle. And he was saying something about me. And at one point he said, Sir, I can do anything. So great. So I asked him to stop the motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> So he stopped in my motorcycle. He said, What happened? I said, You leave me here. <laughs> by, I said, It's not good to go with somebody who can do anything. <laughs> now he's not even aware what he's saying. Right? <laughs> That is how you tend to over evaluate yourself or you know, over evaluate someone with whom you are little happy. I, I, I went to another you know, friend of mine in his house and for some reason his wife was very unhappy with his girl. So he was, she was saying, This Buddha, she doesn't do anything. So I said, She must be doing something. <laughs> he said, No, 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 she doesn't do anything. She didn't even take note of what I was saying, you know. She doesn't do anything. So she was saying it so often, the, after sometimes this girl got very irritated. And she said, what am I not, do, not doing? You know, I am studying. She was studying the third year engineering, you know, third year chemical engineering department in one of the colleges in Kanpur. So she said that I am, you know, going to the college. Before going to the college, I cook the food for everybody. After coming back from the college, I cook food for everybody. Right? And yes, saying, I am not doing anything. And she is insisting still, you know, <laughs> the mother, she is not doing anything. <laughs> this is the under evaluation. And this is very common. So, if you now look back at your <coughs> normal transaction with other people in the family, in your workplace, you would find you tend to do either over evaluation or under evaluation or otherwise evaluation. And all of them amount to this discussion. And I tell you, if you really become watchful of this, 
It will be difficult for you to utter a word. <laughs> because every time we are saying something, okay, it turns out to be this instead of this. Till now you are doing it because you are not, you know, aware of it. Now you become aware of it because it's very difficult. <laughs> Or a member in the country, at that time also there is also over Yeah, it is over and it starts creating problems. In fact, if you tell this to the child, you know, that he can do anything, right? he becomes comfortable or uncomfortable. Anything which of course you see in but let us say from a Child is coming second division. Then we, we, we say that you can, uh, your hard work you can be even first division. Yeah, but that is not over evaluation. With hard work, anybody can come first. <laughs> 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 there is one song, Surat Sunil Ki Chhoti Chhoti That type of thing is bad, but uh, motivating. Cannot be as a kind of yeah, so this motivating, I will have to make this you know, priority in myself. That when I am motivating someone, am I doing the over evaluation or the right evaluation? For example, if I say you know, that everybody sitting here wants to understand what is right, they want to do what is right, and everybody has the capacity to understand what is right. This is not over evaluation. This is a right evaluation. Though you may not be aware of this capacity of yours that you can understand what is right. If I am aware of this capacity and if I am making it as a statement for you, this is not over evaluation. This is the right evaluation, but it is certainly motivating you in the fact that yes, each one of you sitting here is a part of your qualification. I have the capacity to understand what is right. Similarly, if I am saying to children in time that if you start paying attention in the class, you can, you can understand everything that is being taught in the class. If you understand everything, you can write it in the examination and come first. So he may be coming last. This should not be over evaluation. So this I have to keep you know, uh, very clear in my mind. Like when we talk about this okay, now in more detail, we will see that the minimum content of respect for a human being would be that you are like me. Now you are like me. This is in one way you know, a lot of you know, a lot of motivation for everybody. Okay. If I can understand something, you can also understand it. But this is the right evaluation. We'll see what is the meaning of it. And then we'll see if it is the right evaluation. So this motivation by way of stating something which is right is not over evaluation. You may not be aware of it, you are aware of it. You are drawing it attention towards it. Okay? So that motivation would be the right evaluation based on right evaluation. What we tend to do is many things, you know, we say that, you know, you can cross the, you know, sea just by jumping. If I am saying this, this is not going to happen. This is over evaluation. But you can understand what has been taught in the class and therefore come, you know, you can come first in the class. This is not over evaluation. Not only that, I would, when I am talking to the child, I would say that you can understand okay, what is taught in the class if you start paying attention. Okay. I would also tell him that what is important is, is to understand what is you know, taught in the class and not to come first. Because this coming first is I am putting in another trouble. Okay. So, motivation on the basis of right evaluation 
Okay? Is correct. And this is what is going to last. Make the time comfortable. If it is over evaluation, if the motivation is based on over evaluation, then it will put the child into trouble. So now you will have to start looking at every statement that you are making in your relationship with others. Whether it is right evaluation or over evaluation. Under evaluation, otherwise evaluation. And very. Sir, that's right evaluation. It is very, like, you know, something that is very subjective. Yes, sir. Is there any way to make it more quantifiable? Yes, sir. This is what we are doing. We are making all subjective things objective. <laughs> <laughs> that is the beauty of what we are talking, you know, as I mentioned that all this process of exploration is very subjective. But the result that we get out of this subjective you know, exploration, they turn out to be objective. So we will see that. When you make a subjective evaluation, you know, right evaluation of human being, how would it look like? Okay. Is that going to be objective? That's essentially we are going to do that. So let me do it, you know. That <coughs> so respect for the human being. Or right evaluation <coughs> of a human being. First question is to ask is whether you will do this evaluation on the basis of self or on the basis of the body. <coughs> on the basis of the self. If you do this evaluation on the basis of self, Right? Then we can get very objective results. What is that objective result? I will write it down. Look at the purpose. Right? If I look at my purpose, what is it? Right? Happiness, prosperity, and its continuity. Right? So continuous happiness is my purpose. Right? My purpose and the purpose of the other. Is it different or same? Same. At least the hundred people they have verified, right? So my purpose is same. 
as yours, or your purpose is same as mine. And that is ensuring continuity of happiness. Okay? True? Not true? <coughs> Second program of action. To understand and live in harmony. Of action of the other way. What is different? Same. So if you have the right understanding, it is same. Otherwise, everybody has his own program of action. Everybody has his own purpose. So when you rightly understand, my purpose and your purpose is the same. My program of action and your program of action is also same. The third is regarding the potential. If you look at this activity of desire, thought and expectation, Don't rub it, I will try to be exact and potential, this activity of desire, thought and expectation right, going on in me is continuous. Right. It is continuous in everyone? Yes. So it is same in me and the other. If you look at the natural acceptance, also same in all of us. Right? So in that sense potential is also same. <coughs> this all we have verified in last three days. Right? Our purpose is same, our program of action is same and our potential is same. In that sense, if I put them this three together, the conclusion of this will be the other is like me. This is what we have been asking everybody to verify in the last three days. Whether this activity of desire, thought, expectation is going on in each one of us continuously or not. <coughs> then we also wanted to verify this, this natural acceptance is same in all of us or different in all of us. 
This is what they have been doing all these three days. Right? This is what we are trying to do. And the outcome of this.